This is another Live Like production brought to you by Shaw Butter. This is a story about someone who understands. A pet shop owner placed a sign above his door that said, Puppies for sale. Signs like this always have a way of attracting young children. And to no surprise, a boy saw the sign and approached the owner. How, how, how much are you going to sell the puppies for, sir? He asked. The store owner replied, Well, anything from 30 to 50 dollars. The little boy pulled out some change from his pocket. I, I, I have two dollars thirty-seven cents, he said. C -c Can I please look at them? The shop owner smiled and whistled. Out of the kennel came Lady, who ran down the aisle of his shop, followed by five teeny tiny balls of fur. But one puppy was lagging considerably behind. Immediately the little boy singled out the lagging, limping puppy and said, what, uh, What's wrong with that little dog, sir? The shop owner explained that the veterinarian had examined the little puppy and had discovered he didn't have a hip socket. It would always limp. It would always be lame. To his surprise, the little boy became excited. That's a puppy that I want to buy. The shop owner then said, No, I don't want you to buy that little dog. If you really want him, I'll just give him to you. The little boy got quite upset. He looked straight into the store owner's eyes, pointing his finger and said, I, I don't want you to give him to me. That little dog is worth every bit as much as all the other dogs and I'll pay the, pay the full price. In fact, I'll give you $2.37 now and 50 cents a month until I have been paid for. The shop owner countered. You really don't want to buy this little dog? He's never going to be able to run and jump and play with you like the other puppies. To his surprise, the little boy reached down and rolled up his pant leg to reveal a badly twisted, crippled left leg supported by a big metal brace. He then looked at the shop owner and softly replied, Oh, oh well, I don't run so, so well myself and the little puppy will need someone who understands. The shop owner hesitated a bit and then tears started rolling over his cheeks. And then he said, Yes, you're right. No one will ever be able to understand better than you, my boy. Even though you and I are also crippled, having braces on our bodies perhaps, or in our hearts, or in our heads, yet we are worth so much that the God of love has paid the full price for you and me by sending his son to this world for crippled people.